Three, two, one. A new history exhibit sits in the National Infantry Museum to honor diversity. It's called Diversity in Leadership. The display recognizes a few of Fort Benning's first black leaders. Master Sergeant Walter Morris, who was the first first sergeant for the all-black 555th Parachute Infantry Company in 1943. Master Sergeant Milton Lockett, who in 1959 was the first black ranger instructor at Fort Benning and Lieutenant General Gary Brito, who was Fort Benning's first black commanding general. But I am indeed humbled beyond words, blessed beyond words, and extremely honored to be part of this recognition today. Brito was invited to come back to his old stumping grounds to speak at the unveiling of the display. Always great to come back, and not only Fort Benning proper, but the relationship with the community. The now three-star general who serves as the deputy chief of staff G1 of the Army reiterated that this exhibit is not about him. He says it's to inspire future soldiers and leaders in the Army. And soldiers that may be a private or private first class or a specialist deserve to look up and see somebody that may look like him or her. Not to say that it has to be, but it's important that we represent America in all faiths, hobbies, cultures, religions, and we are doing a great job at that. President of the National Infantry Museum Foundation, retired Brigadier General Peter Jones, says diversity and leadership will be a permanent display at the NIM. The, the museum has already always told the story of, of diversity throughout its galleries based on time. And we decided with really the hallmark decision of General Brito, that it was time to talk about diversity and leadership as a separate topic. Jones says they will continue to highlight diversity and inclusion at the museum. And I'm going to get emotional. Cassandra Burks, Columbus, Georgia.